Hello, and welcome back to AI Breakdown, where we break down recent papers in the field of AI and machine learning. I'm Megan, your co-host, and with me is my co-host, Ray. Hey, Megan. Excited to be here, as always. So today we have an interesting paper titled, The Differentiable Lens, Compound Lens Search Over Glass Surfaces and Materials for Object Detection. It was published at CVPR 2023, and the authors are Geoffroy Cote, Fahim Manon, Simon Thibault, Jean-Francois Lalonde, and Felix Haida. Yes, this paper is about lens systems in cameras and how they are usually designed in isolation from downstream computer vision methods. The paper proposes a joint optimization approach where lens systems are designed alongside other components of the image acquisition and processing pipeline, specifically downstream neural networks, to achieve improved imaging quality or better performance on vision tasks. Right, and the authors introduce a novel differentiable spherical lens simulation model that accurately captures geometrical aberrations. They also propose an optimization strategy to address the challenges of lens design, including non-convex loss function landscapes and many manufacturing constraints that are exacerbated in joint optimization tasks. The authors also introduce quantized continuous glass variables to facilitate the optimization and selection of glass materials in an end-to-end -end design context, and couple this with carefully designed constraints to support manufacturability. All of these approaches were applied to automotive object detection, and the authors report improved detection performance over existing designs, even when simplifying designs to two or three element lenses, despite significantly degrading the image quality. Yes, in FIG, one of the paper, we can see that although the optimized two element lens has a worse average spot size than the baseline lens, it achieves a better mean average precision on the BDD 100K dataset. The optimized lens sacrifices optical performance near the corners for better performance in the small and medium field values where most of the objects are located. The authors validated their proposed method on the end-to-end -end optimization of object detection, with lenses specifically optimized for intersection over union, IOU, of bounding boxes predicted from a jointly trained detector, and demonstrated that the proposed method results in improved OD performance even when reducing the number of optical elements in a given lens stack. They also released their code and designs in the hope of enabling further joint design applications. That's great to know. So can you explain what joint optimization means in this context? Sure. Joint optimization is the process of optimizing multiple components of a system together. In this case, optimizing the lens system alongside the neural network for object detection. This is different from optimizing each component separately and then putting them together. And what does differentiable mean in the context of a lens simulation model? That's a good question. Differentiability means that we can take the derivative of the lens simulation model with respect to the parameters we want to optimize. This is important because it allows us to use optimization algorithms like stochastic gradient descent to find the best set of parameters. Okay, got it. So how does this paper relate to previous work in this area? The authors mention several previous works that have addressed the joint design of simple optical systems such as diffractive optical elements, DOES, which allow for a differentiable paraxial Fourier image formation model. More recently, several differentiable lens simulation models have been introduced to address the more complex compound lens systems present in most commodity-type cameras. And what are the limitations of the proposed method? The authors mention that in end-to-end -end optics design, the inherent resolution of the data set used to represent real-world scenes needs to be discernibly superior to the modeled optics if meaningful conclusions are to be drawn. Also, the paper focuses on simple lenses with strong geometrical aberrations, namely refractive lenses with two to four spherical elements whose combination of aperture and field of view exceeds the capabilities of the lens configuration. All right, that's good to know. So overall, what are the main contributions, main approach, related works, and main results of this paper? The main contributions are the novel method for simulating and optimizing compound optics with respect to glass materials, surface profiles, and spacings, and the validation of the method on the end-to-end -end optimization of an OD downstream loss. The main approach is the joint optimization approach where lens systems are designed alongside other components of the image acquisition and processing pipeline. The related works are previous works on joint design of simple optical systems such as DOES and differentiable lens simulation models. 
and the main results are improved detection performance over existing designs even when simplifying lens designs and consistent improvements in detection performance when optimizing the lens jointly with the OD model. All right, that's a great summary of the paper. Thanks for explaining it so well, Ray. Anytime, Megan.